scenery. Thank you, Lauren. We appreciate it. And particularly, we're going to give that in the chief. Two people who represent this area, both in the Senate and in, in the Parliament, none other. And the wonderful Philip Thompson. Give it up for the member for Herbert and Susan McDonald. Yeah. Senator for Queensland. Yeah. Lovely lady. Hello. Now, Phil, so good to be able to, uh, to be here in person with you both. Um, this is an incredible part of Australia. Um, we all know the story of it, where at times it's been razor thin. Now you, you guys have built a very um, a solid following here. But this area, when you're in opposition, very easy for the people in Canberra to just go, not interested. But you're not a person who ever backs down. Neither of you are. Um, it is a world away from Canberra, but you never let them forget how important this joint is, do you? Oh, correct. Um... You know, I love the people here. That's why I've decided to, to raise my family. They're resilient. They're fighters. They are just great people that, you know, want to make sure that we're never missing out from the southeast. And my job is to fight for them. And I go to Canberra. I've, I've kicked my government in the last parliament in the shins, and I'm doing the same here because uh, we deserve our fair share and we should never be forgotten about because we are the powerhouse of the north. For Susan, I mean, you get that experience particularly in the Senate, right? Yeah. You'll see these sort of... Melbourne or Sydney or Brisbane face Greens, right, who've got all this idea about how we change the world and their assumption, seemingly, is that anything outside of the cities is just a place for a wind mm. farm, right? Yeah. Um, what's it like competing against that sort of logic? Because it really is, yeah. like, uphill, yeah. downhill. It's completely different. It's hard work, isn't it? Because it is in the regions that we grow the food, that we mine the resources. We have these great tourism assets... This is the place that drives the GDP of Australia. And, the, and we, live, we love living here. This is why we live here. I'm doing it. Yeah. So it's this thing where, but also a perfect example of that, of that city and regional divide is things like the fuel efficiency stuff, right? Now, again, all, there are lots of ways where governments basically come up with clever or long terms that, terms that people start to roll their eyes. Once it starts to be the... Where the if they came out and said, look, we want to clean the atmosphere, so therefore no more utes, they know what the political response would be. Instead, oh, it's up to the car companies what they decide to sell or, or not sell. And again, if you want to have an electric vehicle, good luck to you. I'm a petrol head, a bleed red, HDT, all of that, right? However, if you're somebody who thinks that's the better mousetrap, but for people living here, it's a work tool. That's right. And that's, that's exactly why they right. want the right to buy what they want to buy, right? And that's why when you walk outside, there is, there is uh, you know, four-wheel drives and vehicles to do a job, to deal with um, the floods, the wets, the whatever you're dealing with. People need a choice. And if we leave it up to car companies, Australia will be the last one on the list. We're a very small market. We'll end up with, with nothing. It'll be the end of the run. It'll be more expensive. And Australians will lose out. But government should be politics. out of their life. Yes, it's not in out. their life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. If you want to buy a Ranger, buy a bloody Ranger. Get out of the way. Yeah. Let people live their life. I'm sick of this big government approach. Yeah. I want people to buy whatever they want. You know what? I want small businesses here and people to make lots of money. Because I want them to be have less government uh, encroachment. And I, I just think that... This is a big government approach, and it's bad for the region. It's bad for Townsville. Yeah. So I'll, I mean, I've got to talk about the youth crime element because generally this is meant to be... It is. We always want it to be a positive representation, but I can't pretend yeah. that issues haven't been happening. Now, I know there's the political element, state election coming up, we'll see what happens, local government elections, well, we'll deal with all of that. But, I mean, you know what normal people, right? And they could be normal people that have been Labor voters their whole right, life, right? But they still look you in the eye and go, fair, do enough, Right? It feels like we have hit the enough yeah. point in time, isn't it, Phil? Yeah, I think that it doesn't matter who you vote for or how you voted. And to be honest, when it comes to this issue, this issue mm. I don't care how you vote. Mm. You have to stop the high crime that we have here. And there is only one level of government that can do it. It's the state. Mm. It, we have people that feel like prisoners in their own home. We've got legislation that doesn't work. And instead of making changes, it's not happening... Just before, I was, I was walking around talking to people, three people raised youth crime to me. Mm. Their house has been broken in like mine has. Mm. There needs to be changes, and we've got to stop going, oh, OK, it's, it's you know, the, the state, they've just got to be better. No, do your job or get out of the way, because we need to get on with it now, because it's not fair. Well, wasn't there one of the local MPs, I think it's from the That's Labor right. Party, saying it was a beat-up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think... No. Is, is youth crime a beat-up, guys? No. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought People so. have had a gutful, and it is not unreasonable that they should feel safe, not only in their homes, but, you know, on the roads, oh. going to work. You cannot... It's not OK to be carjacked 
in Australia. We are a civil society. We've worked hard for it. We've bled uh, for it. Mm. Uh, people like Phil have gone away to fight for our rights and protect other people's, and yet, you know, right here, Australian state politicians won't protect us. I want us. my young daughters to be able to, to live here, grow here, and to, to have a future yeah. here. But with the youth crime so in everyone's face and happening to everyone that mm. lives here, uh, I just, I'm scared for them. I'm scared every time I leave. This bloke's a rock star. You know it. Susan McDonald, I'd say the same. Thank you both, uh, you both of you. All of our family for that. Part of the National Defence Team with Peter Dutton as well. All right. Now, let's get talking about our incredible experiences that we had here uh, over the weekend. Everything from jet skis to crocodiles and a lot of fun in between. They're big. 